everybody here with the pull list for March 4th, 2015, presented by Longbox Radio, taking a break out of my birthday weekend festivities, stuck with the five books I picked up this previous week, and I had a chance to read. Uh, so we got Batman Eternal number 48 here. We have the Pengman be Pengman. The Penguin being uh, crowned again with his top hat uh, amongst a bunch of warring inmates. Uh, so basically Blackgate Prison, someone's pulling the strings from behind the uh, what have you. They've appointed Penguin kind of the ringleader of whatever the hell's going to go down there and uh, have let all the inmates out. So there are giant riots happening at the prison. Uh, on top of that, all of the bat friends, as I like to call them, are battling the different uh, rogues that have been superpowered and, and are, are wreaking havoc across Gotham. So uh, kind of a quick issue, a lot of action. Uh, going over to Swamp Thing, we have Season's End. It's a sideways... The Swamp Thing's done a couple of these sideways covers. Um, we have the, uh, the basically the resolution to uh, what, what's happening with the machines, the rhythm as it were, how Al, Col Al Colin, the Swamp Thing... Uh, figures out a way to uh, to to beat them. There's a little bit of a twist kind of thrown into the middle there, uh, but all, all the same, good good resolution to a Swamp Thing arc, and I'm curious to see what happens next. There's some foreboding uh, foreboding text in this one about the uh, the future of Swamp Thing, so we'll see what happens. Saga number 26, one of my favorite books currently going. Uh, so we basically have three very different divergent uh, stories happening right now. We have uh, Dago and uh, um, and Alana and the kid and her mom. Uh, they are. Basically, right now, at the whim of some terrorists uh, who are trying to just end the war between uh, uh, the wings and the horns, as it were. On top of that, we have Gwendolyn and Brand who are trying to um, harvest stuff from dragons, which is always fun. And they find out that uh, there's only one bull dragon left, and that's what they need. And he's up on a mountain somewhere, and he's he's real upset. He's not a real pleasant guy to deal with. And on top of that, uh, you have Marco and Prince Robot and those guys as they uh, try to pursue Dango and find out uh, where they are and, and rescue them. But as we learned in some text uh, in an aside in a previous issue, that's gonna it's it's a fruitless endeavor. They're never actually going to do it for at least quite a while. So we'll see what happens in Saga. Cool book. Uh, I like the idea of having multiple storylines. Uh, lots more like fun characters to run into that way. Uh, Avengers, we have number 42 right here. It's out of its uh, bag and board for whatever reason. Uh, but yeah, so we basically have the fallout of the new Avengers issue that I talked about, I believe it was last week, uh, where I couldn't stop talking about how insane it was. Uh, we see the repercussions of that. We also see, uh, finally, like, you know, Gladiator and all these guys uh, taken, taken to space. Uh, the Guardians of the Galaxy are brought into the fold. Uh, Cyclops uh, comes into this one, and they're basically like, okay, we need to get the forces of Earth ready because things are going down. we got two months left before time runs out. Uh, okay, so going on to Iron Fist, we have issue 10 right here, the living weapon. Uh, he is channeling the chi of all chis uh, to punch his father's face apart, the one's face apart. Uh, it, w it wasn't enough. It wasn't enough Danny Rand, who then gets a hand through the chest. It's not a good day for him, uh, at which point the one opens up a giant portal in the sky and a giant flaming demon comes out. So we'll see how uh, how the, our hero here deals with that, but super cool book. Uh, digging the art, digging just the tone of the book that's been pretty consistent through 10 issues. So check it out, and you can, because there's a free digital code as well as Avengers. You can find both of those at the end of the episode. Uh, thank you for watching. Happy reading. We'll talk to you again next week.